Hello, Brantford Christian School. So glad to be with you today. And I'm especially glad to be with you today because I'm having a bit of a problem in my Minecraft game. I made this really great house and um, now I can't get to it. I'm guessing probably some of you have played Minecraft before. So maybe you can, uh, maybe you can help me. Let me pull it up for you here. Uh, as you can see, I've got this really great house but there are skeletons here and they keep shooting their arrows at me and it really hurts. Uh, what do you think can protect me from this danger? Huh, why don't we, why don't we look and see what we've got here. Um, how about a fish? A fish. Do you think the fish will protect me from danger? Let's see. Oh, ow. <laughs> That uh, that did not protect me from danger. Um, what about this? Um, the the pumpkin, the the, the jack o' lantern head. What if I put it on? Do you think the the skeletons will be tricked by it? Uh, they'll protect me. No. Okay, so let's see what we've got here. Oh oh, of course, a shield. A shield will protect me, won't it? Let's try this out. Okay, here we go. Walking, walking getting through the skeletons, they're firing their arrows, it's running into the, um, into the shield, but it's not hurting me at all, this is great. And I've made it! A shield is a really good uh, protection, a really good defense when there's danger, isn't it? And you know what? You know who else is a good defense in times of danger? It's God. God's name, one of God's names, is actually the Lord, our defense. Jehovah Meganunu. The Lord is our defense. You know, that's something that uh, King David found out one of the times in his life. You'll probably recall that there was a time when King Saul was trying to take out David. He would throw spears at him and fire arrows at him because he really wanted to get rid of David. And yet, God protected David. He was a shield to him. And so David got safely out of those situations so that he could indeed become King David. When, when David sat down to think about that experience, he realized, boy, God really is like a shield. God is a defense. And so he wrote down, Jehovah Meganunu, the Lord is my defense. So you can see it in uh, Psalm 18, verse 2, for example. David writes, Yahweh, the Lord, is my rock, my fortress, and my deliverer. My God is my rock in whom I take refuge. He is my shield, there's that word, the horn of my salvation. Uh, my, the horn of my salvation and my stronghold. This is when David learned that God is Jehovah Meganu, uh, Meganunu, that God is, in fact, our defense and our shield. David understood that it was God who had protected them in, uh, from danger in that difficult time with Saul. And God does that for us, too. He is Jehovah Meganunu for us as well. When we are lonely or scared or in any kind of danger or trouble, God is there to help us, to protect us, to shield us, and ultimately get us through. Now, I do want you to know something. I do want you to notice something. Having a shield didn't make the skeletons go away, right? Think back to Minecraft. Just because I had a shield didn't make the skeletons go away. Just because David knew the Lord, it didn't mean that King Saul wasn't attacking him. Just because we know the Lord doesn't mean that we will never face trouble. But if we know Jehovah Meganunu, if we know the Lord our defense, then he is with us to protect us, to put up a barrier between us and danger, and ultimately get us through that danger to the other side. Now, there's something else that's really neat about the Minecraft shield. Um, you've probably seen in pictures uh, the sort of shield that, you know, goes on a person's arm. It's a little circular sort of shield. The Minecraft shields and the shields that uh, the Hebrews, the ancient Hebrews, would have used um, are, are actually bigger, right? They are big, like the size of a door, 
shields. And some of them are actually curved a little bit so that you can put yourself up inside of the shield and it protects you. You tuck yourself into this door shaped shield and as you press into it, it makes it less and less likely that anybody will be able to get you. Same with God. As we press into him, as we tuck ourselves into his tender care, he protects us and keeps us safe and ultimately opens the way for us to get home safely. Now, with that idea, that pressing, uh, pressing in, I want to give you one more picture uh, because it's kind of related here. In, um, in Psalm 91, Psalm 91 verse 4, the psalmist there writes, He will cover you with his feathers. Under his wings, you will find refuge. His faithfulness will be your shield and your rampart. His faithfulness will be your shield. I don't know if you've ever um, seen chickens and hens and chicks on the farm. Uh, I grew up on a farm, so I know all about these little chicks. And, and you know what they do when they sense danger? They press themselves up into their mother right? They hide themselves under their mother's wings, and the hen will protect them. Hiding under her wings, then, is, be, is, is like being protected with a shield. This is a picture of God and us. He is our shield. As we press into him, he takes us under his wing and, and cares for us, protects us the way that a shield would protect us. He cares for us the way a mother hen would protect uh, her chicks. He cares for us because he is the Lord, our defense. Let's pray. Lord, we thank you for being Jehovah Meganunu, the, the Lord who is our defense, who is our shield. We are weak, Lord. We often don't know uh, what to do. And while we don't have skeletons firing arrows at us, uh, we do have an adversary who would like to do that. And we also have troubles in life. And yet you are our shield. We pray that you will help us to, 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 to press ourselves into you, to tuck up into your strength and trust in you, our defense and our shield. You are so much more powerful than anyone or anything else. We thank you that we can count on you as our defense. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. We'll see you again next time. Bye.